Hey guys and welcome back to The Nurse Nook. If you're new, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram. Everything is tagged down below. Just a quick background about me. I am a pediatric ER slash trauma nurse um, and I have been a nurse for a little bit over a year now. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my thoughts on what you should know before committing to being a nurse. So for those of you that have been with me for a little minute, y'all know that I am very real with you guys and I like to keep things real. I never want to deliver any um, fantasies or tell y'all that nursing is this amazing fairy tale lifestyle and I always want to keep things super honest with you guys so you guys know exactly what to expect when you're coming into this field. So the first topic I want to touch on is nursing is not a glamorous job. Some people think that nursing is like oh I'm a nurse I'm gonna be driving a Mercedes I'm gonna be pulling up to work and I'm just gonna effortlessly save lives and it's honestly not that fairy fairy tale like okay nursing can be a very nasty job actually okay you can go home with uh, vomit on your scrubs blood pee urine poop all the nasty things um it can be gross nursing can be very gross you will probably gag often <laughs> there's going to be some really nasty smells that you are smelling and it really doesn't matter what kind of field you go into whether it's peds ob even office nursing unless you're at like a desk job um nine times out of ten if you're a nurse you're gonna experience some grossness throughout your lifetime that's not to say that if you have a weak stomach nursing isn't for you because i definitely had a super weak stomach before getting into nursing and i actually contemplated becoming a nurse multiple times i'm sorry they're being really rude outside again so that was when we lived downtown there's always sirens constantly so like I was saying, I actually contemplated a few times whether nursing was for me, like when I was picking my career choice, because I had a very weak stomach. Things grossed me out super easily. I didn't like the sight of like nasty wounds and stuff like that and weird smells just like really got to me. Fast forward um, <laughs> a year into nursing, very uh, few things bother me now and you will build up your stomach toughness, trust me. At first, a lot of things might freak you out and you feel like you can't do it or this is too gross. But after seeing it over and over again, I promise you'll be okay with it. So yes, coming into nursing, just expect that you will have to deal with some nasty things and some things that you probably don't want to have to see, smell, or do, but you're going to have to. Another thing that you should know before becoming a nurse is, first of all, the process to become a nurse is kind of very difficult. Nursing school is very tough and you just need to go in prepared to tackle it and ace it and conquer it as long as you go in with that attitude of positivity and then you know you can do this and you're gonna make it and nothing can get in your way you'll be fine but just make sure that you are prepared for this challenge and you set aside resources time everything you need to make sure that you are successful to graduate so you can become a nurse Another thing that you should know is people in your life are going to ask you tons of questions about nursing. They're going to think that you are a doctor, a surgeon, a pediatrician, a dermatologist. They're going to ask you questions about things that you've never even heard of. Family members, friends, people just like, oh, you're a nurse? Like, what is this? What is that? Like, what do you think this is? And I'm like, girl i don't know why would i know i don't know <laughs> i can't diagnose anything especially as an er nurse i get this so much people ask me about something that's going on with them and they're like do you think i should go to the er and honestly if you're asking me if you should go to the er you probably should go to the er because i don't want to have that on my conscience god forbid i say no like you should be fine you don't need to go and then something happens i'm gonna feel terrible forever so if you're asking me if you should go to the er just go just go ahead and go of course there's gonna be a lot that you do know about but people will come up to you and ask you things that you're like i don't know i don't even know this is one of my favorite things that you should know before becoming a nurse is nurses are actually super, super respected. Nurses are actually one of the most trusted careers 
year after year after year i know i get a lot of people that come to me and ask me oh i don't know if i should be a nurse you know my parents say that i'll oh, go and be a doctor you'll make more money it's it's like a more prestigious career and honestly okay money i guess but nurses are also super respected and nursing is a very prestigious career like nursing is not just oh let me pop a band-aid on you let me you know let me just rinse your little wound out nursing requires a lot of intelligence it's a very rigorous career a lot of critical thinking goes into it it's not easy to be a nurse i feel like people are realizing more and more what it takes to be a nurse and it's becoming an even more respected profession this is another one of my favorite things that you should know is you do not have to stick to one field as a nurse that is the beautiful thing about nursing is you can jump around and do pretty much anything you want to do you can dip your toe in a bunch of different uh little lakes that that is like a new analogy that i just came up with stick your toe in a bunch of different lakes but basically yes so if you want to do peds if you want to do ob if you want to do adult er like you can do all of that like you don't have to graduate and specialize immediately and think oh my god this is what i'm going to be stuck with forever i have to figure out what i want to do as a nurse because this is what i have to be in like even when i was in nursing school i was like oh my god what i have to pick one one field that i have to go into i want to get in there right as soon as i graduate and stay in there forever you don't have to do that you don't have to know what you want to do right out of nursing school you can try a bunch of different places a different a bunch of different fields and see what you like that's the beauty of it you can try anything and then once you find something when you're like this is it that's when you can you know start getting certifications in that field uh, possibly go back to school get your master's become an np like there are so many options and that is the beautiful thing about nursing another important thing that i can share with you guys because i know a lot of nursing students and um hopeful nursing students they have this like great energy about how they just want to come into the profession and help heal people and make people's lives better which is amazing that attitude is like awesome and i love when i am around nurses that are like super positive like that i just want to help and heal but sometimes nursing students come into the hospital world and see how things work and sometimes it's a little bit disappointing to see the reality of things because especially if you're in the hospital um, a lot of things are based around money and it is a business so as much as you want to help people and and do the right thing and you think you might you think these choices might be better for your patient or you want to do this for your patient a lot of it is based around money and we want to do more and do things that we don't always have the resources to so that's just something that you should prepare yourself is the hospital system is a business and a lot of times it can interfere with ethical issues so just be prepared to possibly have to deal with that sometime in your career to piggyback off of ethical issues i want to talk a little bit about compassion fatigue because that is something that is also very real that's a real thing and just burnout in general burnout and compassion fatigue are both really real things that nurses experience it can be kind of sad sometimes being a nurse especially if you get attached to patients or you're with patients long term um, and you see unfavorable outcomes or a patient takes a turn for worse or you just see things that really just make you sad and it can kind of weigh on you and you go home with that and sometimes it just stays with you and you start thinking about patients when you're at home with your family or just doing other things and it can start to weigh on you so you really need to know how to have healthy coping mechanisms and how to let your stress your stresses go and kind of just how to leave certain things at the hospital because if you carry all of that with you you're gonna burn out quickly and you're gonna get compassion fatigued and you just have to know that like you know although you do see a lot of sad things this is your job and you're here to help these people and you can't save everyone you can't heal everyone that's just the way god's plan is set up you do your best and then it is what it is 
Another thing that would be helpful to know before becoming a nurse is to really know how you do under stress. Like how do you perform under stress? Because nursing equals stressy deals. Like nursing can be very, very stressful, especially in the fields I am. I've only been a nurse in the ER, which is like one of the most like stressful environments that you could possibly be in. So of course I've seen like the worst of the worst. It can be extremely, extremely stressful, especially when you're trying to balance critical patients um, and especially in the ER you're getting these patients like right off the streets they're not stabilized they're like like literally like this this is in my mind this is what I see and it is our job as ER nurses to stabilize these patients and especially when we get more than one unstable patient and you're trying to like take care of everyone at one time it can be very stressful because you're trying to do your best but sometimes you just don't have the time or resources to perform the care that you want and you have to start prioritizing your care you might have 20,000 things to do your patients might need five different medications little Lucy uh, across the hall just pooped herself and she's vomiting now you have to learn how to prioritize although a bunch of crazy stuff is happening at once you have to just take a second, take a breath and say, okay, what is the first thing that I can get to now? If you're the kind of person that doesn't do well under stress or panics under stress or breaks down under stress, maybe you need to analyze that a little bit better um, and kind of control those feelings before starting nursing because nursing is just gonna accelerate all of those feelings it is a very stressful job at times and you need to be able to handle that stress effectively to prevent you from burning out and my last point that i'm going to leave you guys with is although nursing is all of these things that i just spewed out to you gave you like five thousand scary new things to think about with nursing it is one of the most rewarding jobs ever despite all the stress and the craziness that i go through I say this all the time, but I could not see myself doing anything else. It's super rewarding when you can see somebody that came in super sick and leave feeling awesome and thanking you for your help. There is nothing that compares to it. 10 out of 10 would recommend nursing to you guys. I feel like I push nursing so much. I should almost like get commission every time somebody enrolls into nursing school. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any advice for future nurses or nursing students, uh, what they should expect before becoming a nurse, definitely leave some comments down below. I'd love to read them. Thank you guys for keeping up with the nurse. Love y'all. See you on the next one.